place. Oh, fuck. Is he supposed to still in the straps? And that's the way we're kicking off Send It Sunday this week. Yes, week two on the Send It Academy is over. We are done. One week with 10 senders. Well, I say one week. It was more like 10 days. We actually started three days early because the forecast looked too good to miss. So yeah, we started off in Big Bay, busy Big Bay, but the conditions were pretty sick and the boys and girl were sending it big time. You know, we saw big push loops. Backies. Forwards. There we go. And some late hits. I think then we had like a, a late session at Sunset Beach, which uh, was a pretty cool experience because one of the guys that have been with the Send It Academy for a few years now, he came to us, he was just learning to forward loop and he was looking in fine form. Yes, Martin, check out these forwards. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely delivering. It's so good to see the progression through the years to this. And I'll show you when we get towards the end of the week, his finishing forward, absolutely sweet. It's like a proud dad guiding your child through, maybe. <laughs> I don't know, but that's kind of how it feels. We also went to Cape Point. So I think we were at Big Bay Sunset Cape Point. For anyone who doesn't know, uh, Cape Point is two hours from where we're kind of based. So you think, oh, Cape Town, everything's quite close. No, Cape Point is two hours uh, south, but we scored some, uh, some really good conditions, super windy. We also scored a starboard tack day. Yeah, the wind came from the other direction, which, you know, a lot of people on the clinic are sort of port tack, that's what they're thing. But uh, in starboard tack, a few other riders came to life. Very offshore winds. I think by the end of the, the, the day, I think people on three fours, three sevens, absolutely blown off the water. So crazy stuff. And then towards the end of the week, we made the decision to go north. Yes, we went all the way to Elands Bay. Um, it's, been a, it's been a good stop on the Send It Academy. Uh, gets out of the sort of busy beaches of Cape Town uh, and we get up there in the north. It's like I said it before on the other, other video, it's like the J Bay of the West Coast. So it's a left-hand point break, really well known for surfing. Needs a certain swell to break, but we scored it for windsurfing. And it was great to have the clinic up there because it was just us guys on the water. So yeah, we had two days up there. We stayed in the guest house, which is great. We're all in one house. You know, we can do the video debriefs. Uh, it's kind of like going back to the old school hostel days. It feels like puts the group together. You know, we eat up there, do everything. Uh, but like I said, the conditions is what we go there for. The wind and the wind definitely didn't disappoint. By 
by the end of the second day, it was absolutely cranking, which was the last day of the Send It Academy. And I tell you what, the senders were sending it. Like I say in these videos, I don't like to name check everyone, but I'm going to try and run through because standouts, you know, moments of the week, Mehmet. Mehmet, he's back on the Send It Academy next week. He went for some of his, uh, his best forwards, started getting the rotation. That's what we want to see. Uh, the next week he is definitely going round, otherwise he's not allowed to leave Cape Town. You know, mate, you know. I don't care if you're tired. He's going to do it. Mehmet, high five. Woo! You're great, Colin. And Ben. I would never do that. <laughs> We've got Patrick. He was back for another week. Started getting those turns in, which was really good to see. I mean, Patrick's main goal for this trip to Cape Town was suss it out, check out where the beaches are, you know, and get kind of like a guided trip at the same time getting some tips, uh, you know, as well. And I think it worked out great. You know, like the Send It Academy is not just about pushing you to do the craziest stuff. Sometimes it can be a surf safari and get you to work it all out because Elan's based two hours north of here, Cape Point's two hours south. You've got to know the forecast, you've got to work it all out. So it's good to see Patrick. Uh, he, also, he also bought me a Prezi as well. Yeah, so massive thanks to Patrick for that. Great to have him on board. Uh, we also had Mike back this year, who came in tandem with Guillaume, who's been on the clinic before, and these two boys were just going crazy. Mike's been, you know, going for crazy push suits that we've seen. He got the goose screw last year, he's been following that up, but this time, late hits. Bam! Aerials. Bam! Yes, the boy was on fire as usual. Oh, Guillaume, man, where do we start? Freddy Krueger. And you probably think, that's a bit harsh, Ben. I tell you what, first day, burnt his feet, then went for a run, put a bit of sand in the mix, you know, stun jam cream up, put a bit of sand in the mix, foot straps, they were red raw by the end of the week. And then to top it off on the last day, pouring a cup of tea, burnt his hand. <laughs> Did it stop him sending it? Idiot Hal, the boy was going crazy. Tabletop forward. Yes, check out those things. Yeah, man. So really good to have Guillaume back on. Hopefully he's back next year. I think he hasn't. I don't think he sailed for like two years. And you look at the level. That guy's got some skills, 100%. Um, we, had, uh, we had a lady on the, on the clinic this week. We had Anne uh, mixing up with the boys, pushing down the wave rides and really going for it that last day in Elands Bay. So good to have Anne on there. Martin, as I said earlier, his progression through the years has been epic uh, and really good to see him smashing the wave rides out as well as obviously the jumping that I've already talked about. We also had Marco from Italy. Yeah, and last day he started having it and that's what you want to see. You know, you want to see just pushing that level, that aggression, and that is where he is at right now. So great to see Marco having it. And then we got Pistol Pete. His name's not Pete, but when you tell us on the first day, don't call me Pete, it's over. His actual name's Mika. Don't ask me. When you come on the clinic, you will realize, but this guy was sending it big time, you know, working on his wave rides, getting the hang of it. But uh, 
he wanted to land the forward. We didn't get great, like, learn to forward conditions, let's say, but this guy has got an epic rotation. No doubt in my mind, he has already done the forward. He hasn't landed it yet, he probably doesn't know it, but just watching him, seeing other people over the years, it's done. The rotation is there, he just needs the conditions. Mark my words, next decent day, he's going round. Yes, there we go. That is it, Pistol Pete, what an addition. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Cannot forget Florian. Now he didn't turn, he was turned up just for the week of the clinic. So, you know, we had to start three days early, so he missed those three days, which is why we ended up doing literally 10 days. But the guy was the enthusiastic monster. This guy is just the keenest bean ever. 50 kilos, and he was just in full sed mode from France. Uh, what a little legend. We hope to have him back on the clinic, that is for sure. Oh. And last, but by no means least, Tobias. He's on next week as well. Um, he definitely, uh, well, he kicked off the show this week. <laughs> the mad thing about this clip is, look at the body going through the wave. <laughs> Jesus, foot still in the foot strap. Yeah, luckily he is all in one piece. And also I've got to mention that epic goose screw. Check out the pop on this thing. Whoa, it's fucking way we kicking it! <laughs> Obviously Colin Whippy Dixon was out there busting the moves. You know what I mean? He's one of the best coaches in the world and he delivers on the water. I mean, I watched him go out to Elands Bay and it was windy at this point. He's on 4-2, pretty much everyone else is getting blown off the water. He just goes and smokes his back loop, forwards, push loop. I was like, ooh, comes back in, gets changed, we're off home. Drop the mic. <laughs> There we go, that is week two done and dusted. We are starting week three. We've got another 10 senders, and guess what? Ramstein is on week three, yes, he is back. He didn't make the first one due to flight complications, but we've managed to squeeze him in to week three. So stay tuned to the channel. I hope you guys at home are getting some sailing and living the dream. We have definitely done some driving this week and last week, and we're probably gonna do a lot next week, but we are loving it over here. That's it from Cape Town. Only one thing left to say, that no matter where you are in the world, don't forget to send it. On the phone, on the sofa. <laughs> Oh, buddy.